وأنصر الإسلام بالأولاد الصالحين ذاك خير زادي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أنا بهريرة رضي الله تعالى عنهم قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا مات الإنسان إن قطع عمله إلا من ثلاثة إلا من صدقة جارية أو علم ينتفع به أو ولد صالح يدعو له رواه مسلم صدق رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Respected listeners I've recited hadith speak from Sayyidina Abu Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم has mentioned that when a person passes away then all these actions cease and come to an end except three one is a perpetual charity that he, he carries out and the rewards accrue to his account as long as the charity is in progress or he leaves some knowledge beneficial knowledge that others are benefiting from it and bringing value to their lives to their deen or he leaves a righteous child a righteous and, and, and good mannered child that makes dua for him from the hadith of nabi akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam our focus inshallah will be on the third one and that is righteous children children and awlad are a great bounty and favor of allah tabarak wa ta'ala and we know that a child a growing up a growing up child is not only an investment for our dunya but more importantly the child is an investment for our akhirah we all want that when our eyes close and we go to the akhirah that we have such children who are righteous they are they are on the straight path and we we are confident that they will make dua for us and they will remember us in their prayers after we have passed away for this reason allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and nabi akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam has given us such golden guidelines and rulings and such values that it is incumbent as parents that we focus on the on these guidelines in order that we raise up successful children a successful child apart from bringing value to one's akhirat and hereafter even in this dunya will be a source of pleasure and comfort and who wants a life with a troubled life where he is troubled with regards to his awlad and children we all want a, a, a life where we enjoy our children uh, behind whom we make so much of efforts we know that when a child comes into the world it brings to it great joy and happiness and as parents we always love to perpetuate this happiness so inshallah so may inshallah in the follow uh, in the coming series we will discuss the certain aspects with regards to tarbiyat and upbringing of children so that inshallah so may inshallah this growing flowers of ours can be a source of happiness in this dunya and more than that in our akhirat with regards to this with regards to giving our children good tarbiyat and good upbringing nabi akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam has mentioned ma nahala walidun waladan min nahlin afdal min adabin hasan aw kama qal a parent does not bestow his child with any gift more virtuous than good mannerism and inshallah so may inshallah this will be our focus and inshallah we want to discuss aspects where we can better our children better their moral better their character so we can enjoy the sukoon of both the worlds we know that in a child's life the first cradle of his survival is the womb of the mother allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the mother the womb of the mother the first cradle of a child's life and the womb and the and the after when he comes into the world the first la- uh, madrasa in the child's life the first place of learning is a mother there is a saying in, in farsi that uh, says that when the builder lays the foundation of the wall if the first brick of the uh, foundation is laid incorrectly then no matter how high the building may may raise and it may, may come up but the wall of the building will continue becoming more skew and more um, uh, it will be more bent and the, as it the wall grow, goes higher the bend and the skew in it will become more visible that is why it is very very important that uh, a mother that's up, that's carrying this child in the womb this this is where the rightness starts from the tarbiyat starts from the being starts from it starts from the mother that a mother when she carries a child in her womb she should make all efforts to bring deendari and religiousness into her life because she is she, this is the first brick of the child's survival that that is a womb 
That is why all mothers should ensure that they leave, uh, earn sufficient knowledge of Quran and Sunnah so that inshallah they are able to raise this forthcoming child. Inshallah we will continue. Wa sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam ala nabi al-kareem. الأخلاق في نفوسهم وأبعد الأشواك عن طريقهم وقت الثمين لهم سأبدأ